so yeah, just give them a wipe over, inside and out, if there's anything in them. Um, before I put them in there, or even started wiping down, I got the air gun out, and I, and I blew um, the cylinder where these go inside, like the inside surface in there, just because I didn't want um, anything to be scratching this surface there, so once it goes in there, it's all oiled up. And um, there shouldn't be anything scratching it, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, not much else really to that. Now I'm going to wipe down these bearings where the camshaft goes. There's not too much on them, I kind of gave it a good clean out before. Uh, I'm going to squirt a bit of oil on there as well. Um, I'm going to do the exhaust side first, seeing as how it's to the front of where I'm working. Um, pretty sure these are the right ones. These are from the 05. Obviously this is the 05 head. If you've been uh, following what I've been doing. Um, so one thing about um, wrapping these up in glide wrap, it can be pretty annoying. Okay, so um, I've put the uh, two of the camshafts in, and I've, I've just loosely put this main cap cap in. I'm just going to uh, do them up finger tight for now. Um, I'll do that with all these before I go ahead and talk them down. And that doesn't mean like tighten them as much as you can. Oh, in this instance, it doesn't mean tighten them up as much as you can. It just means until the point where they stop turning when you're applying the same force that you have been to get them to until they stop, you know what I mean? Like, you're not putting on heaps of force when it, when it moves easily, you're just putting a little bit of force. So just maintain that little bit of force until it stops. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if that's right or wrong. But uh, here's where I've kept all my the caps for the camshaft. Now, they're all numbered with uh, intake and exhaust and this main one being one, and then it will go two, three, four, and then five. So I didn't really need to uh, fold them away how I have, but I've done it anyway. You can see I've got them lined up. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with uh, this main one. I'm just gonna wipe out anything that's in there. And I don't know how well you can see. There you go. It says I2, that means that means intake number two, and the arrow is pointing to the timing chain side. So it'll sit like that, the arrow pointing that way. Um, I'm just gonna put a bit of oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the oiling first, that way I'm just wiping the caps and then putting them straight on. You see what I'm doing, just making sure there's enough, um, enough oil. Okay, so I've got all of uh, those caps in to a point where they're just lightly finger tightened. Um, now what I'm going to do is torque these down to the specification and in the uh, correct order. It's going to go I3, E3, I4, E4, I2, E2, I5, E5, and then the book just says all three of these at the same time, but for the main ones. But I'm going to um, I'm going to go from the middle and then top to bottom. So I'll just point them out. I3, E3, I4, E4, I2, E2, I5, E5, and then I'm going to go one, two, and then three. Um, for these smaller ones, um, they're all 13 newton meters of torque, and for these ones, the, or the main one with these three bolts, um, that's 23 newton meters of torque. So I'm going to go ahead and and torque them down.
So now I'm going to talk down the main, the main fellas. And I'm going to start with the middle. And that's 23, so I probably should change this as well. Actually, I feel as though, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk them down to 13 newton meters. In the order that I want. And then I'm going to talk them down to 23. Just because I feel 23 is a lot compared to 13, and I don't want any any kind of uh, shenanigans going on. It probably won't. I mean, the book's telling me it won't, so I probably won't, but it's just what I'm going to do. Alright, we get to 23. Good as gold. That's that's how it's gonna gonna look. And now that's how easy it is to do that. So once my cylinder head is actually on my block, that's the process of putting those back on. And then I can go ahead and start putting the timing chain back on. That's really cool. I'm, I'm glad I've accomplished that. Now I'm just gonna have to get um, some quick grips or something to. Uh, this probably won't be the best. I don't have a um, any. What do you call them? Spanners to uh, to grab in this area here. So I'm just gonna have to make do with my quick grips. of uh, turning the cam and it's going to be a fucking, I can just tell it's going to be a very annoying process.